Good morning, Church, and welcome to our daily devotional. Let me start with a question. Can we live in hope? Hope is the certainty of the promises of God. And we have that hope because He declares that we will receive His inheritance at ang pangako na iyon ng Diyos ay nakaangkla na sa pamamagitan ng dugo ni Jesus Cristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Try to imagine a heavy object tied to a ship that keeps it secured at the bottom of the sea. The purpose of the anchor is to keep a ship safe and secure to a desired location or to help the ship during the bad weather. However, the anchor must be solid, dependable, and used properly at the right time and place. Same is true with our hope in God. It is something that provides a firm foundation and security. For our hope in God is an anchor for our soul. Let me share with you three anchors in crisis. First is don't drift. In Acts chapter 27, verse 15, it says, The sheep was caught by the storm and could not heed to the wind. So we gave way to it and were driven along. The first thing that storms tend to do to us is to cause us to drift. Yung tipong nadadala tayo kaagad ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. You tend to forget where you are headed for and you will start drifting. Kapatid, hold on to God's promises and make God promises your confidence to take risks and be victorious at the end. The second point is, don't discard. In Acts chapter 27, verse 18, it says, we took such a violent battering from the storm, and the next day, they began to throw the cargo overload. We all have our own destiny. Hindi ka naman nandito sa mundo na to just to fill out a space. God has a specific purpose for you and plan for our life. Yung mga pagsubok na pinagdadaanan natin, yung mga paghihirap na pinagdadaanan natin, ay mga pawang mga setbacks lamang yan to fulfill the purpose of your life. If you choose to reject His plan, hahayaan ka naman niya, bibigyan ka ng chance to make your own decision para ma-realize mo at the end na manli ang pinili mo over Him. But once you lose your goal, you will lose sight of the very meaning for which you exist and lose the opportunities to enjoy His provisions in your life. Nothing can change God's ultimate purpose for your life. Nag-iiba lang naman ang nagiging direksyon pag di ka sumunod sa direksyon na ibinibigay sa'yo ng Diyos. God's purpose is greater than any situation that you will experience. Huwag kang mag-focus sa problema o pighati. Di naman yan mananaan matagal eh. God can change your circumstances. But we can never move mountains without faith. Tiwala lang kapatid, God will never forsake you. Remember the promise of God in Hebrews 13 verse 5. Sabi niya, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Andiyan lang naman si Lord sa tabi natin eh, kahit hindi natin siya nakikita. We will never go through anything by ourselves. Mad- madalas lang, ikaw ang bumibitaw sa Kanya. But no matter what, inaabot pa rin niyang pilit ang iyong mga kamay. You will always have God beside you. He is the anchor that you can tr- trust fully. The third and the last point, in Acts 27 verse 20, it says, when neither sun or stars appeared for many days and the storm continued raging, we finally gave up all hope of being saved. God gives His promises without fail. The storms or situation we are right now cannot change the purpose of God in your life. Storms cannot destroy the children of God. Marahil, sangkatutak ang mga alalahanin mo sa mga oras na to. Wala kang peace of mind sa kakaisip ng mga solusyon, ang mga babayarin mo sa damakmak, nangihina ka na, napapagod sa daily routine, giving up. But God says, you may lose the cargo, you may lose the chain that connects the anchor, you may lose the ship, and you may even get wet, but you are going to make it because of the promise of God. Kapatid, Anchor yourself on the truth of God and pray without ceasing. Let the truth of God's word give you the confidence you need in every crisis you face. Storms cannot hide God from you, nor God cannot hide from you. There is a reason for it all. You are going to make it safely to land. For my conclusion, 
sa inyo po nanonood at nakikinig sa mga oras na to, nakaratay ka man sa palubhang karamdaman o dumaraan ka man sa matinding problema, nangihina, namawala ng pag-asa, if you feel like drifting, all your dreams are falling apart, and totally in despair, remember that life has a way of testing our anchors and tempting us to dream. Of course, a ship is not designed to remain steady at one place. But if your hope is anchored in Christ, no matter how strong the force of the wind, no matter how high the waves, no matter how strong the current of the water may seem to be, take comfort in knowing that the anchor of the Word of God and the rock in Jesus will keep us steady and secure. For the anchor will keep us from drifting into danger, seen or unseen. Let God's word keep us back to the safe harbor of the Lord. So let us close in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for keeping us secure. And came, thank you for keeping us safe, Lord. And thank you for helping us to go out of the ship safely. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.